Finally this week, we turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. We find out about the first medical facility to adopt the early church's health message. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. This week in 1868 was the week of the first official Seventh-day Adventist camp meeting held in Michigan. And this week in 1943 was the second week of a two-week long General Council of Adventist Teachers of Languages and Literature, the first ever such conference. And in 1952, this week was one of two weeks of the second denomination-wide Bible conference, which was held in Washington, D.C. and was much larger than the first such conference in 1919. And you can listen to recordings of the 1952 Bible conference at the GC Archives website, www.adventistarchives.org. What about the days of this week in our history? Well, on the 2nd of September in 1933, the first Adventist radio programs were broadcast in Argentina from the city of Bahia Blanca. On September 4 in 1909, Godfrey T. Anderson was born. He later became president first of La Sierra College and subsequently of Loma Linda University. On September 5 in 1866, the Western Health Reform Institute opened for patients in Battle Creek, Michigan. Later renamed Battle Creek Sanitarium, it was the first health institution to operate on the principles newly advocated by Ellen White. And also on September 5, but in 1897, the first Adventist church in Estonia was organized in the city of Tallinn by missionary Gerhard Perk. That was This Week in Adventist History.